Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to enable DirectX 12 for Apex Legends on the PC. If you're running on Windows 11, DirectX 12 will be default on, or it should be. If you're running in Windows 10, that is not the case, but you can enable it. So how do you know if it's enabled? Uh, so first of all, well, you want to check if you can actually run DirectX 12 or not. So how do you do that? Go to search on the bottom left of your screen, type in run, hit enter. This will come up, you type in DXDIAG, press uh, enter. And here you're gonna see the DirectX Diagnostic Tool. On the very top, you're gonna see a display tab, click on it. And on the right hand side under drivers, you're gonna see feature levels. Uh, you have to have uh, 12 underscore zero or above 12 underscore one or two. Um, and if you do not have that, basically your GPU probably cannot run DirectX 12. Okay, um, you want to check if it's actually running. So if you launch Apex Legends, uh, you can check for a watermark that says uh, DirectX 12 beta in the bottom right corner of your lobby. If it's present, then you are using DirectX 12. If it is not, you can enable it. How do you do that? If you're on Steam uh, or if you're in the EA app, it's very similar. You go into the game, you write, uh, go into library, right click on the game, go to general. Under launch options, you want to type in dash EAC underscore underscore launcher underscore settings settings dx12.json and then you exit out of this and then you launch the game as normal and verify if the watermark is there and this should force the game to run in DirectX 12. If you're on the EA app it's a very similar click on the three dots on Apex Legends select view properties and in advanced launch options add exactly the same uh, add this and it will force it to run in DirectX 12. And that is it, that is how you do it.